morning everybody, how are we today? Um, I'm here again to give you another art video, uh, something that you can do at home. We're going to be using paints, so if you've got some paints at home, great. If you don't, um, I uploaded a video yesterday on how to make your own paints using flour, salt, water and food colouring. Um, and that's what I'm going to use today. I had to make my own uh, paint yesterday, so that's what I'm going to use today for our task. What I did notice about my paint from yesterday was two things. The first thing is I felt like my paint was a little bit too thick um, because of the flour and the salt. So what I did this morning was I added in just a little bit of water and I mixed, mixed, mixed until I felt like it was a consistency that I wanted because we want it to be nice and runny, okay? The other thing I noticed um, was that the food colouring had actually risen to the top so there was a line of dark green and then it was the, the kind of green you can see now. So just make sure that you mix your paints every time you use it um, until that kind of all goes back in together. Um, perfect. So that is um, our paint and like I said you can watch the video on how to make your own paint. Today what we're going to do is we are going to make germ monsters and I've chosen germ monsters today because there's lots in the media at the moment about germs about the virus and it can be a little bit scary and I thought today we would create our very own germ monsters give them funny eyes um, and have a bit of fun with it okay and while we're doing this have a think about ways that we can try and help to stay healthy to stay clean and to get rid of those germs by washing our hands and making sure that when we're touching anything, we're just washing our hands afterwards. Okay, so what we need for this task is we need paper, you need paint, I'm going to use my homemade paint, you need straws and you need some kind of um, pen or, or pencil or crayon. I'm going to use my black sharpie. You can really use whatever you want for it. It's completely up to you. Um, if you don't have any straws, we are in a time where we can't just run out to the shops and, and buy straws, I am aware. So what we can do is we can be creative and we can make our own straws just by rolling up a piece of paper. So we'll just go roll, 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 roll until it's all rolled up. And then you should have a homemade straw. Should work the same. What I would do is I would put a little bit of sellotape on it just to make sure that it stays nice and strong and it should work the exact same. Okay. Alrighty. So first of all, we're going to take our paper and then we're going to pick our first colour. So I'm going to pick blue. I'm just going to give it another wee mix just to make sure that it is nice and runny. We want it to be nice and runny for the task that we're going to do. Okay, just making sure that we can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the straw to blow the paint onto the paper. And that's going to give that germ that nice spread look. Because remember, germs can spread quite easily, which is why we need to wash our hands as much as possible to try and stop the spread of the germs. So I'm going to drip some paint on there and then I'm just going to blow. And what you should have is your first germ. Now you'll notice I turned the paper a little bit because you want it to blow in all different directions. So feel free to turn the paper. I haven't, there's still blobs in there as well. You don't need to blow at all. I'm gonna choose another color. I'm gonna choose red. I'm gonna give that a nice mix, to make sure it's nice and runny. And I'm gonna drop, 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 drop. And then I'm gonna blow. There we go, I think that's spread as much as I want it to be. What you will notice about our homemade paints is they do smell a bit funny, but that's all right, because we're not expected to eat it, so that's okay. I'm then gonna do yellow. Let's get the yellow in. So I'm gonna go drop, 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 and then spread it across. Okay. 
Now I'm making quite big germ monsters on my page today. Yesterday, when I gave it a try, I did quite a lot of little ones. And that's fine too, you can do whatever you want. It's your germ monster picture. You can do as many of these as you want as well. You can do one big one that's multicolored. Miss Wellness just dropped her paint. She's dropped her paint all over the counter. Silly Miss Mill. I'm just gonna get something to clean that up. And we're back. Okay, so I'm now going to put aside the yellow paint and I'm going to get my green paint. Now I didn't add a lot of water to this one actually, so it might be a wee bit thicker than the others, but that's all right. So I'm gonna drop, 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 and then blow it across. And there we go. So that has me now created four big germ monsters. So the next part was actually my favorite part of the task. I enjoyed blowing out the paint in lots of directions, but I actually really enjoyed creating the arms or the legs of my germ monsters. And what I did was I did a mixture of they had four legs or they had six legs. You can give them as many legs as you want. It is your germ monsters. You do whatever you want to do with them. So I'm just gonna squiggle out some legs just like that and then at the end i've given them like a wee hand so i'm going to do a wee circle with the wee hand as well and i'm going to give mine are quite big so i'm going to give them six legs on either side no i'm not i'm going to give them three legs on either side and six all together friday maths is obviously not miss milne's strong suit so this one's a wee bit smaller so i'm going to give it four legs, that's two legs on either side. And remember when you're doing this part, be very careful um, that you don't smudge the paint. You've got to be really careful going around all the different bits of your paint. So I've drawn in my legs. And what I've done with the hands is I'm gonna then add some color into the hands. And again, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna use my Sharpies. Um, but you can use anything you want to colour in the hands. I use lots and lots of different colours. I don't know if you can see them on there, um, to fill in the different hands parts. So I'm just going to collect my pens so I can colour them in, and then I'm going to add some colour. as you can see. There's lots of different colours there. So the next part we've got to do is we've got to leave it to dry completely, especially if you're using my paint that I made yesterday because it is quite thick compared to normal paint and it can be quite lumpy because it's got flour and the salt in it, it can be quite lumpy. So if you try and colour um, colour over it, it actually it takes it off a little bit. Um, I found that yesterday when I was doing this eye here. So I'm going to leave that to dry over at the site. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when you're coming to do your eyes, I'm going to show you, I've left some of these to be um, empty so that I can show you the eyes on these ones, okay? And what you can do is you can do as many eyes or as little eyes as you want. And again, I'm going to use my black pen, but you can actually use any colour you want. These are your germ monsters. So I'm going to do one eye and because I use my pen, I'm just going to be very light and careful. So when I'm drawing the eye, all I'm doing, if you want to do one like me, is I'm drawing an oval shape, a bit like an egg. And then I'm doing a curve in the middle. And then I'm just colouring in the bottom section of the eye. These are my favourite ways to do eyes for cartoony characters. So it looks like that. You can even give it some 
little eyelashes too if you want. It's up to you, it's your choice. Okay, let's just do a few more. I'm gonna give this one, one small eye and one big eye because that's what I think germs would look like. This one here, I'm gonna give three eyes to. So have fun with it, but remember, if you are using uh, the paint that we made yesterday, make sure it's fully dried. I did this one yesterday to have a wee shot. Um, and I tried to um, colour the eyes on too soon and it did start to take off the paint because it is made of flour and salt. I'm hoping that by adding water and thinning it out that that's going to help to dry it quicker. Um, but just make sure that it's fully dry before you start to draw on and when you do draw on the eyes do it really really carefully okay um, and have fun with it and remember boys and girls our germ monsters are here to remind us to get rid of those nasty germs so let's keep washing our hands let's keep making sure we're being clean and we are being safe and have fun with it and I will see you on Monday for another art video have a good day bye